Uh, today's pattern is going to be this Nyat um, hair streamer, small one. Uh, it's got a little bit of olive and chartreuse on the wing, a little bit of flash, um, and then the red throat. I like the red throat. I feel like it's real fish magnet, real fishy. So uh, well, let's go ahead and get started. I have a size six stainless hook, um, small one, because this this fly it, we're gonna is to kind of for fishing small smaller waters and uh, it's a good <clears throat> starting pattern. If you're out, you're not so sure what to throw. Um, generally, throwing a smaller bait. We'll get a few fish uh, because the small fish tend to be a little bit more aggressive. Let's start by just getting some wraps, covering the shank of this hook. Um, this construction is going to be quite simple. So how we will construct this is we'll, we will have one, we'll tie in one clump of Nyat uh, for the underwing. And then one clump over for the head. And then we'll do some uh, flashy dubbing for the, the throat. And then in between we'll, we'll put a little bit of flash. Not too much. Alright, here we go. So here's the Naya. It's, it's very long, nice and long. And uh, the fibers are a little bit thicker than the, sh the sheep's hair. Uh, the Icelandic sheep's hair. But it's a, it's a cool material. And uh, for the under, we'll just do a little bit of olive and then a little bit of white in with the olive, not too much. Here's a good piece, here's a good piece. There, we won't put too much in. So when we you, you cut it off the patch, there's always a little bit of like under fur and so you just want to pick that off. You can save it. It's useful for other flies. Um, it's very, it's like a dubbing. And so I have my, my olive and my white. And I'm just going to, I want to mix these. I want to mix these colors well. Mix, mix, mix. Very nice. Very nice. All right. The quality of the fly is very dependent on how well you prep the materials. You could just cut it off and stick it on there. Um, but as I'm working it, it's, it's building a taper and um, it'll just have a much nicer finish uh, the more you work with the material. All right, so I kind of I want to find the halfway point, which I'd say is about there, and then I'm going to cut it in half because I I don't want this fly to be so super long. It's Shouldn't be super long. And then I'm, I'm going to work it back. And we're going to work the material again. Working it, working it. The more the merrier. The longer the better. Alright. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm, as you can see, I'm kind of uh, spinning the ends um, because I do I want to create that taper and I want to remove any uh, material that's not necessary okay that's good and I'm going to just place it place it work it around the hook I don't want it to go under but I do want it to go around and then tight 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 Tight, tight, tight. And then I'm going to tie back so there's some space here because I'm going to lift 
this piece and then we're just going to fold it back fold it back like this and then oops and then work it work it together all right and tight 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 and move the thread forward that's great okay so this is our tail section and we can pick it out a bit that looks nice again the more you work with the material uh, the better end result you'll have so the more you can pick the better it will look okay that's good so next we'll put in some flash and we will tie our flash behind our wing we, we don't need a lot here's some uh i don't know what this is called some flashy flash some flash it's not it's a little bit thicker than angel hair but it's thinner than um your average flash if if that makes any sense so we'll just, I'm just going to pull out, I'm horrible at storing my, my flashy flash, but I'm, I've pulled out some strands and I too want to work this material because we're going to kind of cut it in half here. So I'm, I'm just trying to find the mid midpoints of these uh, pieces. It doesn't have to be exactly even. The little taper is nice. I found the midpoint. Then I'm going to cut it in half. And then I will tie it in on top. I'll tie it in behind our clump. Okay, and then, so the flash is sitting on top, and I want to kind of work it around, I, I, rather than stacking it right on top, I, I want it more on the sides of the fly, so I'm just, I'm going to work it, I'm going to kind of smoosh it around a bit, and then for our, our ends facing forward, I'm just, I'm going to spread them. Spread them, spread them. So now that it's on the sides, and yeah, distribution is okay. That looks good. All right, so now we've got some flash worked in. Our head and wing will be this uh, nice bright chartreuse. Then I'm going to blend it with the olive. So it'll, we'll take a, a little bit of the green. And we'll get a little bit more of the green. And then we will uh, pull the, the undesirables. That's good and pull the undesirables you can you can see what that looks is kind of fluffy for it's great uh, dubbing substitute all right so now we have our our pieces here and then like i did with the olive and the white we're gonna work them so they have a nice mix and then natural 
taper. That looks good. You're making a mess. Hairs everywhere, that's okay. All right, I think that's a good mix. And find your midpoint. Yeah, I think that's good. And then we will make a cut. And then work them again. Work them again. Work them again. Roll them in your fingers. Work them and roll them. Work them and roll them. All right. That will do. So we're going to tie them in here. And tie it up top. You want you do want to be uh, careful. You're you're doing this even. Um, that, whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. You could, if you wanted to, you could tie in another uh, clump of flash here. I'm not, but I'm going to start picking. Pick, pick, picking, pick, pick, picking. All right. And uh, so... Uh, Obviously, we're going to fold this back, uh, and then um, let's do our under. For our under, I just have a, a clump of, of dubbing. You could get creative, and you can mix a, some. Ah, uh, maybe I will. Maybe I'll take. Yeah. Why not? I'll take a little bit of the olive uh, under fur from the hair, and I'll mix it. We'll see what that looks like. A little bit of olive and red. Kind of defeats the purpose of the red. The red is <laughs> supposed to stand out. Um, but maybe I'm on to something here. Who knows? All right. Um, it's a nice, a nice group. So we'll go ahead and we'll place it. Place it on top here. And we're going to tie it in. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. That looks good. Okay. So we're, we'll start uh, folding it back, making our head. We're, we're going to fold it back and then we're going to glue our eyes to this thread bump here. So don't be shy. Build it up. Um, and move your f thread forward and then under and then fold everything back. Fold everything back and make a small head here just to keep them honest. Yeah, that'll help. All right. Let's go ahead and, and whip finish that. Uh, it's gonna get so much resin. Don't don't worry about making such a huge, such a tight, tight knot. That's good. Let's cut our thread. Okay. So this is what we got. Kind of looks like a cockatoo or. Uh, it doesn't look like you could fish it. Um, but if you pull it back, you can kind of start to see a profile. Uh, but before we do that, let's let's pick 
some more. So when we do pull it back, it's manageable. Okay, that loosened up a lot. That's pretty good. Pull some strays here. I think that that that's gonna work. That is gonna work. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll start with our head. This is gonna be done in stages. Uh, I like to do some UV up top, just up top, to lock everything in place. And I'm dapping it. I want it to soak in uh, to the fiber, so I'm just dapping it, dapping it, dapping it. I want it. I want it to take shape. Dapping it, dapping it on the side a little bit. I don't have to worry about the bottom. And then we can hit it, hit it, hit it, and so now that that head is starting to shape, starting to shape, uh, we're going to put on the eyes. I'm going to glue the eyes to that thread bump. So I've got my super glue and my super glue and toothpick. I'm going to turn the fly on its side and just apply to that thread bump. Not necessarily to the to the hair, but more just right on the bump. Right on the bump. Because that's where the eyes will sit. Okay, I have, I prepped my eyes already. They're uh, red because <laughs> we, we took away a lot of the red quality by mixing in that, that olive, but it, it, it looks okay. Uh, I'm gonna put, place one here on my super glued thread bump, just resting it. And then I'm going to place the other one And resting it. I'm checking if they're even. Yeah, they look pretty good. All right. Um, you're going to have to be brave and you're going to squish them so they set. Yeah, they're set. All right. And now to finish the fly, we're going to uh, put some more UV around the eyes and to finish the head so it's a nice solid head um, and it it gives the fly a nice action uh, jerk action if you fish it with a loop knot let's go ahead and finish i have my my uv and i'm just working it around dapping i want to soak it in Under, around, dapping, dapping. All right. Let's let everything kind of gel together. Pull. Hit it with the light. Okay, I want to do one last pick through. Uh, 
Let's make sure all the hairs are sitting pretty. Okay, that looks good. And then we're going to do some color. I have a marker, a permanent marker. I'm going to do about four or five bars on top. So I'm just pull it tight. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to color uh, the sides just light, very light. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, that's it. There she is. Finished fly. Nyat hair streamer. Small one. Size six. Maybe it looks like a little perch or maybe a little bass. Uh, change the color. It could be a little bluegill. Uh, but small, small bass like this one. And maybe you have potential to catch a five pounder.